everybody, this is your boy Dryden Mutzler, and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorial. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button, and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content. Just to let you guys know that all of the links is in some of the description and etc. And to disable your, your antivirus. So with that all said guys, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back guys. Uh, as you guys can see by the title, that this title is all about GTA V PC modding tutorial. Um, there's been a lot of messages on GTA 5 mods.com. A lot of complaints, people saying, right, they can't get into the game, they can't go online. The game always crashes every time when they try to install the latest script hook V. Well, guys, uh, there is something wrong with the script hook V, okay, but uh, there, is a, there is a solution to bypass that. There's always a solution, guys. So, with this video, guys, um, this, this video will definitely help you. Even for the newbies too, who just started with their modding. So guys, all you gotta do, okay, before you do start modding and installing mods into your GTA V, is make sure you, you download and install OpenIV. I'll leave that in some of the description below. Once you install and download OpenIV, I already did it. It's easy to install. Just make sure you guys follow the steps. So once you guys download and once you come up to this uh, this application here, all you gotta do is click on Windows on GTA V, wait for a few seconds. Now once you come up here, guys, don't touch anything over here yet. Go to Tools, go to ASI Manager. Once you finish with that, guys. Then go to ASI Loader, install that. Open IV.ASI, install that. And then create mod folder into your GTA V main directory. Yes. Install open camera, and that's it. Close it, and then just minimize that. Go to you, go to your GTA V game. Right click, open file location. As you guys can see. There's a mods folder inside there. So guys, before we do anything, as you guys can see, there is no update folder in here. So there will be one there soon, so just hang on. So the next thing we gonna, that we are going to do is create a new folder. And now we're going to rename it script. Script folder, and that's it. Now guys, the next thing we are going to do is install Scuttog V and Scuttog V.net. So guys, here you guys, open up Scuttog V, then click on bin. After that, click on dinput8.dll and Scuttog V.dll and then copy them both into your GTA V main directory. Push replace and that's all you guys gotta do. Just only a uh, warning guys, make sure you do multiple folders. As you, as you guys can see, I've got like one, two, three, four, five, and six folders. The reason why I got six folders because, well, because guys, with this folder, this is a fully mod folder. And this folder over here is only to to do showcases and etc for you guys. This folder is LSPDF, it is like a police mod. And this folder is to go online because guys, uh, just to let you guys know for the newbies, you cannot go online on this folder. Once you once you install once you install scuttlegv.dll, you cannot go online. Otherwise, you'll get banned. So guys, let's get straight into it. Make sure you guys do multiple um, folders because, um, yeah, it's really important that, that you do backups. Now, uh, once you guys install Scuttlegv, then you don't need that anymore. Go to Scuttlegv.net. 
Then I copy the ASI, DLL, and XML. Copy the whole three except for the text files and drag them both all into your GTA V main directory. Now that is it. Now guys, here is a secret part, okay, that everybody has been stuck on. Inside my description, there is a GTA V dot heat adjuster. Click on that, install it guys, download and then open up the extract file and then I click on the GTA V heap heap adjuster dot ASI and drag it into your GTA V main directory and now that will help you to go online I mean not not online that will help you to go on the game I mean sorry now guys we have finished with that and let's just put that here put that here now guys we are going to install the trainer menus so the trainer menus are menu and trainer v now guys open up trainer v wait for a few seconds push the x drag it towards the side then make sure you guys copy trainer v dot asi and dot ini and drag them both into your gta v main directory and that's it click on your menu wait for a few seconds and then now click on menu stuff folder and menu dot asi and drag them both into your gta v main directory guys warning make sure that you don't copy them both over the folders otherwise you will install it in a folder and it's gonna be a big mistake so guys that is it i think yes that is it guys and now the next thing we are going to do guys is your script folder now in your script folder open up that folder now guys go to your map editor okay make sure you have the latest version open up your map editor and i will leave this inside my description copy the whole thing okay and then drag them into your scripts folder and then that's all you guys gotta do then now inside my custom download there is a native ui click on the native ui download down key and click on it open your extract file and then now click on native ui dot dll and drag it into your scratch folder push replace and then that's it and then now guys i think we have done that now now right click refresh your folder now guys the next step is map builder download map builder okay guys down download it but guys just to give you guys um uh, a little warning okay map builder okay this is the old version of map builder the new version is 2.23 but you gotta pay this is a free version by the way but there are some props that won't spawn but if you want a paid version then i will leave the paid version in some of my description you gotta pay though but this is the this is the free version so you can download it guys so download it guys and copy the .oiv files the whole three of them into your desktop wait for a few seconds and there you go now open up your open iv go to your tools go to package installer and then now the first thing you got to install is your map builder click on map builder click open then after that guys click on install and then install it into your march folder now guys this will take a few seconds or minutes depends on your pc performance usually it takes about five minutes uh, for five or ten minutes for low computers but for nice good computers it takes about one see one minute well a few seconds so guys don't click don't run gta v just click close go back to your tools again and then go to package installer again 
go to props.oiv wait for a few seconds install it into your GTA V main directory wait for a few seconds or a minute and then close it again now let's go over it one more time go to tools again package installer and go to your DRC list dot XML dot OIV then now wait for a few seconds then install it into your mod folder so guys always remember okay that the props goes into your GTA V main directory go to mods and then wait for a few seconds and then now we are done quit out of here guys then now quit out of here and then now we are basically finished so delete all that don't need it so guys refresh your desktop okay refresh your desktop go to your go to your game go to open file location and now check to see if everything is there always gotta double check guys yes they still there and yes that is there too so we are done now guys i'm gonna go into the game and i'll see you guys in the game And we are back again guys, as you guys can see I am in the game with scriptalkv.dil files and I did not crash. So let's get straight into it guys. Now just to prove to you guys that your mods do work then all you gotta do is push F4 and now that will bring up the trainer V. You've got some multiple um, stuff to, to play with in here. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna go over this whole menu guys. You guys know what to do and press F8 To activate our menu and then press F8 again to bring up the uh, The menu you got multiple things to do. I'm not gonna go over it. Okay, okay guys because um, yeah, it's just too much But you can change the model if you want to So guys um as you guys can see that it did work the video and I did start from the first folder but if you guys are starting from a model folder all you gotta do okay is install your scriptog v and your scriptog v.net and then now really important guys install the gta v dot heat adjuster okay dot asi you must install that that mod um, really works okay and that mod will make you to go in the game okay so make sure you guys do that and another really important news guys is make sure you have multiple folders because guys if you if you have one folder and if you have like if you have like lspdfr and visual and a full model folder into your one folder then yeah then you will have like about 200 gigabytes on one folder and it's gonna be like laggy ass because you got so many and you'll crash all the time so make sure you guys have multiple folders especially if you if you want to go online make sure you have an online folder like me so yeah guys um uh, i hope that this video does help you guys to get back on the game and to start modding okay guys so um that is it for me so i hope you guys do like this video if you guys have any questions i will be uploading more modding 
modding tutorial videos okay tomorrow there will be one so so guys with that all said thank you for watching i will see you guys in my next video don't forget guys if you guys like this video smash that like button and if you're new here subscribe for more daily gaming content and even tutorials and i'll see you guys in my next video peace and i'm out thanks for watching